Hi, so this video I wanted to talk about thyroid disease. Um, basically, when I was born in July 89, I was diagnosed with what we call congenital hypothyroidism. Uh, normally, I'd, only recently I started opening up to about having the disease. Like, it's not really been a massive problem for me. I've been able to pretty much maintain a normal life. Um, but I just thought that even though I'm doing an Instagram um, account for life, day-to-day -day life of congenital hypothyroidism, I just thought maybe making a YouTube video as well to maybe open up people's eyes to the disease itself and hopefully offer them some insight on how to cope with it, the day-to-day -day struggles, what they're going to be faced with. Um, so I'll probably just give a quick lowdown of what thyroid disease is and what congenital hypothyroidism is as well so uh, bear with me I don't normally do videos like this but uh, hopefully I'll do it right for you all basically the thyroid gland is a butterfly shaped object in your neck it just sort of sits maybe behind here uh, basically it secretes the thyroxine hormone and uh, th thyroid in it. I can't say it but there is another hormone for it. Um, the thyroid gland is a very important gland in your neck. It's what pretty much helps your body to function on a day to day basis. So basically, uh, thyroid disease consists of the underactive thyroid, which is hypothyroidism, which is basically your thyroid gland doesn't produce enough hormone. Uh, hyperthyroidism or overactive thyroid, um, this is where you produce too much thyroxine. There's also Hashimoto's and Gray's disease, but uh, they're just to name but a few. Um, mostly can be controlled with um, medication um, but there are some more complex diseases out there there's thyroid cancer but the way I see it is anyone who suffers with any of these diseases are always a thyroid warrior um, the one that I have is congenital hypothyroidism which is basically uh, what I'm going to explain in this video um, in a moment Thyroidism. Um, when I was born, they did the heel prick test on me, which basically detects things like something called PK, I forget the full name of it, and basically thyroxine. Um, it turns out that the results of the prick test came back that there was no thyroxine in my blood. So when I was about three weeks old, um, I think they ran some more tests, so on and so forth, they actually found out that I was born without a thyroid gland. Um, basically now um, I am on thyroid medication um, for my whole life and I started taking it when I was you know born and I will be taking it until the day that I die um, it's manageable you know there's been one or two occasions where I forgot a dosage and I've been reprimanded by the doctors for it I have to have annually blood tests to make sure that the thyroid levels are what they should be. Um, it is a bit of a bitch, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, this thing's side effects like I'm very, very tired. Uh, my hair, as you can see, I didn't straighten it for the purpose of the video because I have to put up with this on a daily basis. It's very dry. I'm constantly losing my hair. There's always pl blocking the plug hole, basically. One big struggle I have with this disease is that I am a big person. Um, the thing that frustrates me more is when you have people who think that you're big because you eat too much. Um, okay, so I'm a little bit guilty sometimes, so I do like my food. However, once you put that weight on, it is an absolute bastard to get off again. And that's saying something. Um, it's not easy. I mean, I have signed up to a gym, so uh, time will tell. Um, and it'll be very difficult to lose weight because of metabolism and so on, very slow. Um, that will make it very difficult to shed the weight. But um, if I can get down to do two dress sizes before sort of halfway through October, um, that will be a massive achievement so far because I've got some lovely dresses in my wardrobe and. It'll be nice for me to be able to fit into them again. I have this absolutely beautiful dress. So 
yeah, I'm more or less quite a uh, biggish person, but obviously I am working on that. So currently at the moment I am on 175 micrograms. So there's a box of 100, the box of 50, and a box of 25. I'm just going to post some links in the description for um, things like the website uh, called British Thyroid Foundation. It's a very good source of information. I'm going to also post my Instagram account and uh, there was another one I wanted to do. Anyway, they'll go into this video and I'll try and figure out how to put links in the description because I still haven't figured out how to do that yet. Um... If anybody's got any questions, uh, please, you know, subscribe below, um, leave a comment and don't make the questions too complicated for me though because I'm still learning about it myself. Um, and then hopefully I can keep doing videos like this, just more day-to-day -day routine, maybe how I'm feeling and stuff. So uh, it's a long road to master the art of doing videos and putting them online. I hope with this video, as brief as it is, will sort of be an introduction to not just to me, my experience with thyroidism, but also to um, help people who have just been diagnosed. I will try to keep regular posts, um, like videos, as much as I can, but my Instagram is probably more reliable. So I hope you enjoyed the video and that it can sort of give you an idea of what's to come if you've just been diagnosed with hypothyroidism and um, offer you some insight on sort of day to day life so uh, I will probably see you guys again soon and maybe this little critter will um, join us more frequently as well